Hey guys, it's Vic. How are you? I wanted to talk to you today about belts, wraps, straps, knee wraps, and all the other accoutrements that we use to accomplish our lifts. Um, you may see the guy in the gym, he's got all those things on at the same time, you know. Um, never drive home, by the way, with those, those straps, it's kind of dangerous. Um, but I wanted to talk to you today about using those tools. Now, um, I think that those tools are fine. The only thing is I think we should be able to accomplish the lift on our own. Um, those tools are terrific for um, aiding a lift, but they shouldn't necessarily be used to accomplish the lift. I really believe that. Um, also, as fitness enthusiasts, enthusiasts and bodybuilders, um, when something isn't uh, in alignment, we tend to automatically think that something is wrong. In other words, let's say we're training our back and our arms are giving out before our back, right? So automatically we jump to the conclusion, something is wrong. Let me attach myself to the equipment and tie myself to the equipment so that my arms don't give out and I could get more work in my back. Without really ever thinking for a moment that maybe that's how things are actually supposed to go. You know, there's no rule that suggests that your arms are supposed to be as strong as your back and that everything along this line is supposed to have the same uh, ability to absorb stress. That's not how things are supposed to work. In fact, your body is supposed to have different uh, functions. Each body part is for a different function. We tend to forget that as bodybuilders and fitness enthusiasts because we want it to give it the most amount of work that we possibly can. You know, a lot of times guys are doing a, an exercise and they're saying that their upper body is giving up before their legs. Well, you know, it, that's probably a good thing, right? Uh, there's no uh, reason that your legs should be uh, weaker than your arms. So we try to usually attach ourselves to the equipment with straps and wraps and belts and other things so that everything is sort of the same and it's not supposed to be. So don't automatically jump to the conclusion that something is wrong when a certain body part is giving up before another. In fact, something is probably very, very right and we tend to try to outthink ourselves by using the, the tools, right? Don't do that. Trust your instincts, right? Understand that everything is supposed to have a different function, uh, a different ability to absorb stress, and you won't think so much that something is wrong. You'll be able to use that equipment properly as compared to, to using it to necessarily uh, accomplish a lift instead of just support a lift, okay? I wish you guys all the best. Peace, love, and muscles. Visit me at Vix Natural and say hello on Facebook. Take care.